Meghan Markle has sparked fear in the Queen over concerns the impact a break between the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry could have on the royal family, expert Judy James claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been praised in public for their decision to take a step back from royal tradition to show their devotion to each other through public displays of affection while on royal outings. But as the couple prepares to welcome their first child and celebrate their first wedding anniversary, a July 2018 podcast re-emerged warning the Duchess of Sussex has sparked fears in the Queen over her potential break with Harry. Body language expert Judy James told Pod Save the Queen Meghan's coat of arms, which she designed personally, could be interpreted as a threat to the royal family. Ms. James said, I'm just wondering whether a lot of the symbolism won't actually be worrying the older royals. Those three quills the one thing they don't like very much is being written about when it's somebody saying the wrong thing. The coat of arms the Duchess of Sussex picked pays homage to her home state of California through the inclusion of a color blue to represent the Pacific Ocean, while two golden rays across the shield stand for the sunshine typical of the U.S. state. The coat of arms also includes three quills said to represent communication and the power of words, and a songbird which Ms. James suggested could be interpreted as a threat to the royal family. The body language expert continued. I think they're used to new royal brides who keep slightly quiet, at least for a few months, possibly a couple of years. We saw with Meghan, she hit the ground running and she's the most eloquent member of all of that age group of royals which is fantastic, but she's reasonably spontaneous with that. I think the songbird, is there a little bit of a threat there? If anything goes wrong in the marriage, she's going to sing like a canary and tell everyone what's going on in the royal family? I'm sure that won't happen, but like everything about Meghan there's such a strong message there, such a personal message. Ms. James added, I think we're hearing from her that she won't be held back. It'll be interesting to see if anyone tries to hold back a little bit and make her more regal. Meghan Markle is expected to give birth to her first child sometime in late April or early May as the Duchess revealed in January she was six months pregnant. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be moving to their new residence on the Windsor estate before the arrival of the royal baby. Buckingham Palace announced last week the couple is to be granted a personal household separate from Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge in the spring. In a statement Buckingham Palace said, the Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, following their marriage in May last year. The household which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring. The Duke of Sussex currently has his own private office, which has been supporting the Duchess since their Royal Highness's engagement in November 2017. This long-planned move will ensure that permanent support arrangements for the Duke and Duchess's work are in place as they start their family and move to their official residence at Frogmore Cottage.